So say I want to sum up the order values where the product category equals furniture. So kind of the equivalent of filtering the data to furniture, but with the added bonus that the number's not going to change if I change the filters and things like that. So let's start with some ifs. And it first off, it says, what's my sum range, which just means that, you know, where are all my numbers, really? So that's here. OK. And then it's kind of where's my criteria one, it's called. So criteria range one is um, my product category. So make sure I highlight the entire column there the same. And then my criteria, my actual criteria, as I said, is furniture. So in other words, I'm saying where this column range equals this value, furniture. And there's my 300,000, which is the sum of all the furniture order values. OK. But there is a top time saving tip on all of that, and that is to turn this into a table, which is Control T. Now, I've got it the formatting set up and that, so you might have to play around with defaults yourself. But essentially, now that's a table, if I delete that formula. I'll do the whole thing again. So this time I'm going to say sum ifs. And as long as I'm in that order value column, control space, it will give you, you know, it will tell me oh, I want table two order value column. And the bonus of that, of course, is that one, you can, well, several bonuses, but one is you can read it like a normal English language, but also if any extra data comes on, it's going to pick it up. Next is the product category which is that, and I say, I want it to equal that. Now there's no sort of, that's not in a table, so it's not coming up with just still E4. Right, there's my number. 